Welcome to MiddleTennesseeMusic.com's second video in a series of how-to tutorials showing you guys how to work with GarageBand for iPad. And today I'm going to go over how to create, edit, and uh, record tracks. I've already got something set up. I'm going to show you an instrument. I've got a piano here. To add an instrument, you push the plus on the mixing screen. Theoretically. Okay, there we go. And then what I did, I chose a keyboard. Now go back to this tracks. You hit the multi-track screen. Now to you can delete, duplicate, and merge tracks together. I just want to delete this one. I don't need it because um, I've already set up a piano. Let's go into the instrument screen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now we got the grand piano. If you click this, you have all the different instruments that you can choose within this module. So you have classical grand electric piano, whirly, organs. You go to the classics everything you could possibly want. <laughs> I love it. So I'm going to go with the grand. This is the velocity. Very quiet. Very loud. You can do this and it's kind of in between quiet and loud. Now my fingers are fat so what I'm going to do before I record, I'm going to choose the scale I want since I know the mood of the the mood I'm going for. Right here you push scale, open up the scale screen. I'm going to choose a Japanese scale. Let's see what it does, it takes out and only shows you notes involved in that scale. That's dry, I want some sustain on it. Okay, now I just want to show you what else you can do. Glissando, you can do this. If you push the button, it chooses the scroll so you can change octaves quickly while playing. You can uh, use the arrows to switch octaves. You can also switch to a double deck. You can make the keys fatter for your fat fingers. You can make them smaller if you have skinny fingers. I'm using the medium setting. Here's the double decker. Bam. You get. You can spread your octaves out. You also have an arpeggiator. You can turn it on. Octave range. What notes you want to play. Triplets, dotted, quarter notes, etc. I don't want it on though off so to record let's make sure we're at the beginning I'll make sure I got a count in going count in is on let's go Okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm off time on this one. Because what I'm doing, I'm, I already have a section recorded, so I'm in a separate section. I think that's why it was playing music before the count-in. Um, so this is going to be off, obviously. But the thing about these tracks is in the mixing window, you can quantize, make everything on time. You can transpose, you can merge recordings. So... Also, edit, you can edit the screen, you get the piano roll, zoom in, zoom out. Um, you can also, instead of recording while you're playing, you can do this, turn this on, and you can. And then you have the undo. Whoa. Go back over here. Now, these are... This is what I recorded. Now here's the drums. Now say I wanted to uh, add some shakers. We just do this. That's the basics of creating and editing tracks in GarageBand for the iPad. Until next time, it's Joshua Smotherman with MiddleTennesseeMusic.com, and I'm out. Peace.